When life hands you tomato paste, you make other kinds of tomato paste. Hey guys, I'm gonna share something with you today. Whenever I have extra tomato paste, you only need maybe two ounces for the entire recipe. What am I gonna do with the rest? It goes bad in the fridge after a week or two. I actually didn't have any leftover, but I need the thing that I'm gonna make. This is a six ounce can of tomato paste. That is also 170 grams. This recipe is one part of each thing by volumes so that I can eyeball it because this is just sort of a recipe that I can make quick and easy whenever I really need to use up some tomato paste. So ketchup, what is ketchup? Ketchup is an acid and a sugar and a tomato. Well, we could use white sugar and we could use white vinegar. That's gonna give us a very sort of austere, snappy tomato. But what if we want a little body to it? Well, we can sub out the white sugar for the brown sugar that we made last week. And instead of white vinegar, I can use something with a little more fruity flavor in it. Uh, let's go with an apple cider vinegar. A sherry vinegar would also work very well. What else would work? This Spanish red wine vinegar that I made seems like it would be really good with this. So let's just get our parts in the pan. We have to remember to pack our brown sugar as we saw last week. This entire thing was one cup of white sugar. And really only a tablespoon or two of molasses made it in here. So it's not that much different. There's just a lot of air in it. Just a little bit more. Perfect. Low heat, I want to melt this brown sugar first and get this tomato paste really well incorporated into everything else before I bring it up to a simmer. And then we're just going to simmer until it's the consistency that we want. I like to try to use my rubber spatula to smash down all the lumps and get it to sort of a, an even consistency before I switch to a whisk. And in keeping with last week, you can use an equal amount of white sugar and a dab of molasses that's going to give you the same thing as brown sugar. Watch that video. It's going to change your life. Lumps are gone. I'm gonna turn up the heat a little bit and start whisking. And 
And all I'm looking for this to do is to lose a little bit of water and to not burn on the bottom. It's got a little bit of steam coming off now. I'm really gonna watch it very closely. And once I see any sort of bubble, I'm taking it off. Bubble. Off the heat. I'm gonna continue stirring while it cools down. For maybe about a minute then it's going to be fine in that pan this is going to cool a lot faster with all that surface area so i'm going to leave it here for about 10 minutes then i'll put it in the container that i'm going to use adult ketchup what's today 315 This ketchup is so customizable, and really, this is the most ketchup that I've ever made because I've never actually made the full amount of a can of tomato paste. It's usually like two ounces, four ounces. And it is sweet and savory and nice and acidic. I think that this would really go well on a lot of like fatty sausages. It's somewhere in between a commercial ketchup and a mild barbecue sauce. But you might ask yourself, Curtis, what are you gonna do with all that ketchup? Well, next week, let's make something else with it.